Maybe they should just say, just sell it, because Nike shares have been dropping as soon as they got word that Colin Kaepernick was going to be featured in a new campaign honoring the famous Just Do It campaign. To uh, Forbes Sports Money uh, co-host, Mike Ozanian. Mike, the company must have anticipated this reaction, the threatened boycotts, that it could hurt business. Must have weighed it carefully. They're not idiots there. Do they think that this is going to be a short-lived <laughs> reaction or what? I think they're doing this because Adidas Neil has been eating Nike's lunch. Uh, Nike had a terrible August, the stock did. Uh, Adidas has become the more innovative company, the hotter company for the key young demographic. And I think that's what Nike's going after. They probably anticipated they would lose some of the old fogey buyers like myself, <laughs> but are looking to recoup that with the younger people. All right. So younger people would be more inclined to stick with a company uh, like Nike and, and that this controversial stance would help them with that group. I, I get that. But then what if you peel off all the others? Well, that's the question, right? Ultimately, are they going to gain more revenue from younger people than they're going to lose from older people? I think this is going to parallel what happened to the national anthem uh, uh, protests and the impact it had on television ratings. You know, the last poll done by UBS Securities of 2,000 people showed more than half the people polled were bothered by the anthem protests and half had stopped watching football because of it. But when you looked at the demographics, the younger people thought the protests were good. They were on board with it. And I think that's going to be similar with, with the Nike products. It's, it's, very, it's very split among demographics and uh, to a lesser degree region of the country. I really don't think Nike sales will be hurt in Los Angeles or New York. Probably in the Midwest they'll be hurt. You know, I, uh, it is interesting, Mike, uh, about how it turns upside down this notion that advertisers abhor controversy. They want to be as vanilla as possible. They don't want to offend people. Here's a company going right into the thicket and risking just that. Now, to your point, it might work out for that younger audience. But what if it does not? Well, the stock market, to your point, Neil, right now is saying that it will not. Uh, it's down about 3% last I checked. The market's down just fractionally as of now. But I think if this stock goes down more than 5%, I would call that an overreaction and probably hmm. look to buy shares of Nike. Uh, at some point, emotion can get the better of people. The reality is the overall sales of Nike, it's such a global company, it's such a powerhouse. You know, you're looking at soccer in Europe, it's tremendous, huge in China. I don't think those consumers at all will be impacted by the Nike Kaepernick Just Do It campaign. All right. Well, watch closely. Michael, always good seeing you, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Neil.